Hi, my name is John Campy. I'm the CEO of Bright Heart Health. Across our country, opioid deaths and overdoses are impacting all communities. Cities and counties are struggling to keep up with the epidemic. Not a day goes by, it doesn't seem we're reading something about opioid deaths in the media. It's straining our emergency rooms and our first responders. And in fact, many of our emergency rooms are acting as the first line of treatment, with patients presenting, discharging, and then readmitting shortly thereafter. Every mayor and governor has this as a priority on their task list. But the challenge is complicated. There's not enough providers to treat the individuals. And that's where Bright Heart Health comes in. What we're seeing is certainly in California, and it's true across the most, most of the United States, is that places that have lack of access to treatment providers actually have higher rates of opioid prescribing and higher rates of accidental overdose and overdose death. It's, the correlation is incredibly robust, and when you put heat maps on top of each other, they match nearly perfectly. As far as what's happening with the amount of treatment access, one of the things that we do know very well is that there are only, of all the people who suffer from a substance use disorder, there are only 10 treatment slots for 10% of them. It's, there's a huge discrepancy between the two. We are taking a hub and spoke model across the country to provide physician services and capacity in the areas that need it most. Follow-up care is provided online through telemedicine so a physician can follow up with a patient no matter where they reside. This allows our network of physicians and therapists to meet with patients even if they're located far away from the original encounter. Yeah, I'm, I'm firmly of the belief that telemedicine represents the future of medicine. It is a different way to think, but we still provide excellent care services for people who are receiving telemedicine. If you look at the studies with telemedicine, we find that the outcome the outcome data is just as good as in-person medicine and traditional medicine clinics. But interestingly, patient satisfaction is actually much higher with telemedicine. We can think of the re some of the reasons why. Traveling to clinics, especially in rural areas, can be a very long way. And if you're in areas which are impassable because of weather or rain or something like that, you can see your doctor from the comfort of your own home. You can go to a break room at work and essentially you have access to full healthcare services without having to take the hassle out to move to another clinic, to good drive to another clinic and check in, check out, get all the paperwork. We do that all digitally. Telemedicine is something that is, allows us to deliver full services at a high rate of quality, but with minimum hassle to the patient. And thus patients, clients really like the telemedicine model. We are making treatment more accessible by providing all of our appointments and intake processes online in a paperless system. Individuals using a browser can access our system, schedule an appointment, and complete all of the intake forms online. 24 hours a day, seven days a week, they can access this through a mobile device, a tablet, or a computer. We believe making this available online improves access to care when people need it. Bryheart Health accepts insurance both commercial and managed care. We're excited to be in network with many of the major insurance and local insurance providers within the state. All too often, patients seeking care find physicians who only accept cash pay. However, at Bryheart Health, we're making treatment more affordable by accepting both commercial and managed care programs so that way treatment is convenient and affordable. We created Bryheart Health to be the gold standard in care. We follow all state and federal regulations, the TIP40, we require random drug screens on a monthly basis, lab work from our patients, and our therapy is based on CBT and DBT methodologies covering relapse prevention, recovery skills, anger management, emotional regulation, and more. But there's another component I'm excited to share with you. It's our symptomatology tracking. This is based on evidence-based tools like the Brief Addiction Monitor and the Socrates 8D. Completed weekly, this information is used to inform our care and track treatment progress. Physicians at any time can use these tools to look at over time to see how a patient is progressing through treatment and equip our care team with the quantitative information that leads to better outcomes. We are truly excited to have this be a core component of our treatment model at Bryheart Health. It was just so easy, everything, and it was quick. The turnaround time was quick. When you're going through that, you want it to happen now and it did um, as quick as they could get it and everyone's been so helpful and um, 
convenient. Yeah, it's the best word. I mean, I just, I got someone right away to pick up and they said, this is, you know, the emails, this is what time you're going to be meeting. I just, you know, joining a meeting is very easy. It's, it's quick. That's what, and that's what we're looking for. People like me that are reaching out to something like this, that's the number one thing I think is efficiency and uh, convenience. The opioid epidemic is growing. It's impacting every community in every state, regardless of race, wealth, or other factors. It addresses the capacity and availability issues preventing individuals from getting care. It's a comprehensive solution, involving evidence-based practices to address other co-occurring issues as well as the substance abuse, to help individuals find lasting care. It reduces the burden on ER and first responders and is affordable. We are excited to partner with you, and if you have any questions, please reach out to us. We hope to address this problem together.